Hi everyone and welcome to this second day meeting. I am Jules Kriki from the Central African team. So my presentation is on the representation of the Africa intelligence and the associated dynamic of our Central Africa during the September to November rainy season in climate models. Uh, climate models are needed to assess the impact of climate change and to develop adaptation strategies appropriate to the Central African region. So understanding how well uh, this model represent or reproduce key processes is very important. This study examined model representation of the Africa intelligent in CMIP-5 and CMIP-6 models, a, a process-based assessment of the dynamic of the northern and southern component of the jet in model in need to understand the representation of the linguistic climatology of these jets in couple models using ERA-5 and MERA-2 reanalysis. As the first step in this study, we will examine the mean core location and intensity of the African steady jet in models. So this figure here represents the long-term mean September to November, latitude longitudinal mean location of maximum steady wind. Note here that Africa steady jet are steady wind with, with wind speed exceeding six meter per, per second. In this figure, we can clearly see that most of the model locates uh, Africa steady jet over the over Central Africa between uh, the longitude range of 12 and 28 degrees S and with very strong variation in the latitude range between five degree north and 10 degree north over the, the, over the northern component and uh, also uh, a, a very strong variation between five degrees south and 10 degrees south for the over the southern component region this is uh, also uh, this is with an improvement in the semi 6 version where models are very close to reanalysis this is also observed over the africa SLJ south in the semi 6 version uh, as the most of, as most of the model were localized uh, an east west variation of the jet core location over Central Africa between 12 degree and 28 degree in the uh, and 28 degree east, we have represented here monthly average of the Africa steady jet and Africa steady jet Africa steady jet north and Africa steady jet south jet core location in reanalysis uh, and also in models and here. Uh, we can clearly see that uh, most of the models, uh, or broadly, most models represent uh, well located uh, Africa Estelle Jet North compared to Africa Estelle Jet South. Note there that Africa Estelle Jet North is present from uh, over the, the whole year from January to December compared to the southern component, which is only present from September to November. And uh, the, we can, uh, from the semi five to the semi six version, we can observe an improvement, which is shown by the split uh, around the analysis in the location of the jet in couple models, which is very which is uh, larger in the semi six in the semi five version uh, compared to the semi six version. Uh, this is also observed over the Africa for the southern component, where some of the model locate uh, an Africa steady jet south from uh, over the whole year with uh, this is also this is in the GIS model which shown an improvement in the uh, 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 in the semip 6 uh, model which localized a, the african study which were localized an african study jet south between september and november and close to reanalysis in terms of uh, intensity some models like GIS and mirror six year overestimate uh, african study jet core intensity in the semip 5 version compared to the semi 6 version where we can also see an overestimation but close to, but this is not uh, far from the reanalysis. This is also observed in the uh, for the southern component where we have very strong overestimation of the intensity of the jet in the GIS model, but uh, in the same, uh, in the GIS model of the semi 5 model, but in the semi 6 version, the model is, uh, the model still overestimate but close to that of the, but close to the, the, the mirror to uh, the analysis during September and November. Uh, in general, the split of the simulated Africa intelligent location around the analysis is larger for CMIP-5 compared to CMIP-6. This shows an improvement in CMIP-6 model in capturing the jet location compared to the CMIP-5 model. This, uh, this can also be explained by the split in location of the jet uh, in semi-5 compared to the analysis, which is about twice that of uh, uh, that of uh, semi-6 uh, model around reanalysis. This result clearly show that 
location of the Africa Easter religion in CELIF 6 model is closer to that of the analysis compared to the CELIF 5 models. As first step to understand improvement of the uh, or in location in terms of location and intensity of the jet in CELIF, in CELIF 6 model, we have here assessed the surface meridional temperature gradient, which is a mechanism to which the jet owes its existence. So here we present a latitudinal time annual evolution of surface temperature gradient in mode uh, and by representing the climatology uh, uh, by showing the climatology of the temperature gradient in the analysis at the top of the panel and we also represent here uh, uh, bias of temperature gradient against uh, uh, reanalysis in models uh, against era 5 in models and here we can clearly see that the jet is a thermal wind which owes its existence to a low to a low level meridional temperature gradient africa instead jet is always is reasonably well located uh, simu or simulated in most couple model compared to Africa instead of jet south, where we can clear, where, where we see that the, the, the location of the jet is always equal to what of the strong meridional temperature gradient. Uh, we have compared here the jet core location showing that Africa instead of jet is well localized over Central Africa in most semi six model compared to Africa instead of jet south. However, the improvement in some semi six model that is this and mirror of six model is not always related to maximum surface temperature gradient. The GIS model features the strongest Africa instead jet north and Africa instead jet south, but weakest meridional temperature gradient. Why mirror of six feature a very strong Africa instead jet north associated with strong gradient, but weak Africa instead jet south that is associated to strong meridional gradient. In terms to understand the difference between surface temperature gradient and the jet stream in models, we have looked at some of the dynamic of the African steady jet in models by analyzing here some atmospheric energetic interaction, like the, the conversion of divergent kinetic energy into rotational kinetic energy, which is very which is one mechanism uh, which uh, accelerates the Africa instead of jet by converting divergent circulation into rotational circulation. And here you can clearly observe that over Africa instead of jet now, we have very strong and positive centers of conversion of divergent kinetic energy into rotational kinetic energy compared to the Africa instead of jet south region where we have very weak values and some of model represent no conversion. And uh, we can clearly see that this, this convention is 10 times stronger compared to in the, in the Africa Instead Jet North compared to the Africa Instead Jet South. Uh, as Africa Instead Jet components are thermal winds of the metroposphere, which, on their, which are strongly reliant to surface temperature, analysis on their maintenance acceleration mechanism are performed based on surface thermal heating such as temperature, surface temperature, surface thermal long wave radiation, and surface energy heat flux. And yeah, we present here one mechanism. Uh, we present here surface temperature uh, at, at the aerodrome 50 hectopascal. And we can clearly see that. We can clearly see overestimation of surface temperature in some models like GIS and Mirror 6. Also, some models underestimate uh, surface temperature like CNRM and GFDL. In order, a surface uh, temperature. Uh, over Sahara and Kara region is important in the generation and maintenance of the jet. Understanding how couple models represent different behavior of surface heating is an open question to our, uh, uh, to our, uh, to our, it's an open question to this study. In order, uh, so we have represented here strong surface sensitive heat flux in GIS, and we can clearly see that the GIS model overestimate surface temp surface sensitive heat flux thus enabling the asset of warm air associated with dry convection, uh, reinforcing surface heating and intensify heat load. Why in the mirror six model, which present, which also present very strong uh, surface warming, underestimate the surface sensitive heat flux. In order to understand what make, what could be responsible in uh, reinforcing surface heating uh, in mirror six model, we have also represented here the bias of uh, long wave radiation in mirror six against era five, and we see that the long wave the mirror six model overestimate surface long wave radiation that threaten heat intensity and therefore the temperature gradient through Central Africa. 
in this study, an assessment based on the on processes related to the dynamic of the northern and southern component of Africa is intelligent. It's made to understand the representation of the mean state plan of energy of this of this jet in couple model by examining surface thermal heating. We found overestimation of surface temperature to both the north and south of our Congo basin in this due to low soil moisture that have to intensify thermal heat loads and have to regain the jet in spite of weak temperature gradient. Why in the middle of six model, which also has surface a very strong surface heating? is associated to strong long wave thermal radiation that support the heat low, certain mid-level Botswana and Sahara high that support the jet through anti-cyclonic circulation. This study is certain our understanding on the mid-level circulation over Central Africa by detecting gaps of the mechanism uh, maintaining uh, the African stage in couple models and highlight processes that should be improved in the future. Thank you for listening.